In the valley of an ancient mountain range, nestled like a sigh of respite, lay the town of Haven, an idyllic refuge that seemed to resist the maladies of the world beyond. It was in this quaint town that Claire Miller sought solace, and perhaps the inspiration for a story that would invigorate her journalistic spirit. In Haven, she found herself surrounded by people who seemed to exist in a state of perpetual trust. Doors remained unlocked, neighbors shared the most intimate secrets without fear of betrayal, and an air of tranquility permeated every corner of the town. The secret of this improbable utopia lay in the whispers of the townsfolk, who spoke reverently of the relic, an object buried deep within the town's heart that bestowed upon them the gift of unwavering trust. Feeling the stirrings of curiosity, Claire sought the counsel of Ezra, an elderly man versed in the lore of the relic. In hushed conversations, the two danced around the unspeakable truth of the object, the veil of secrecy only serving to heighten Claire's desire to witness it for herself. Under the indigo twilight, Ezra led her through shadowed streets, past the darkened facades of slumbering homes to the very heart of the town, where a time-worn building stood sentinel. Beneath its crumbling stone floor, they found a hidden chamber that seemed to echo with the remnants of forgotten memories. In the chamber's center, a grotesque, pulsating mass lay cradled in a rough-hewn basin. The relic, a conglomeration of veined tendrils and quivering flesh, was partially obscured by the glow of a protective sigil, casting ripples of eerie luminescence across the walls. Claire could not resist the urge that whispered at the edges of her consciousness, urging her to reach out and touch the repulsive object. The moment her fingers grazed its writhing surface, the once tranquil town erupted in a cacophony of anguished screams. The delicate veil of trust woven so carefully over generations had been torn away by her unwitting hand. Haven, now unmasked, was a grotesque shadow of its former self, filled with twisted doppelgangers and monstrous manifestations of the darkest recesses of the human soul. Claire, trapped in this surreal and nightmarish landscape, sought to restore the town's trust by repairing the sigil she had inadvertently shattered. As she and Ezra delved into the depths of Haven's history, they discovered an ancient tome that spoke of a ritual to mend the sigil. It required a sacrifice, an offering of blood and pain that could bind the darkness once more. Desperate to right her wrongs, Claire agreed to the ritual, her resolve as unwavering as the blade that carved the sigil into her flesh. With each incision, the ghastly doppelgangers and their twisted forms vanished like a nightmare upon waking. As the final stroke of the blade completed the sigil, the town was bathed in a blinding light restoring the illusion of peace and trust that had once defined Haven. Though the darkness had been resealed, Claire was forever marked by the knowledge of humanity's hidden nature. She departed Haven, haunted by her own actions and the sacrificial price that had been paid. The town returned to its illusory serenity, a veneer of trust shrouding the grotesque, pulsating heart from which it sprang.